All right, so we're looking at now the section, uh, CNT 140, Chapter 9. We're looking at this section now on wrong pinouts. Okay, so as we start having miswires when we're terminating our unshooted twisted pair, whether it be on the outlet jack or the patch panel, we are going to get um, wrong pinouts. That's the problem. So th they actually have a couple different categ categories of this. So let's see if we can understand what they are and then again understand how to correct them. The first one we encounter is what's called a cross pair. This is when you actually have an entire wire pair, like the whole orange wire pair, is accidentally wired into the wrong spot so that the result is the orange pair and the green pair have swapped places. So this one involves two wire pairs. A cross pair involves the two wire pairs flip-flopping or being in the wrong spot. So again, normal wire map right here straight through. Cross pair, in this case, the orange and the green have flip-flops. They have crossed pairs. So the cross pair is involving two pairs um, of wires. So as I hook up my continuity meter on this one and go through and test, obviously it's going to show fail. When I do my fault check and start going through the wire pairs, it shows 1, 2 is crossed and 3, 6 is crossed. Then it'll show 4, 5 pass, 7, 8 pass. Okay. So this one, I'm actually having two wire pairs have flip-flopped or crossed places. As I look at my wire mapping meter here, I have the orange pair flip-flopping to the green spot and the green pair flip-flopping to the orange spot. And it actually looks like this little white green wire has a open in there as well. I didn't notice that when I was taking this picture. Uh, I was just taking pictures quickly. Uh, but I would have the orange pair wired in the green spot and the green pair wired into the orange spot. That is a true crossed pair. So for fixing this, I need to find the faulty end and re-terminate. Well, this is actually relatively easy to do. If I have wired my whole building, let's say I go, I pull cable into the building, and I go through on Monday and I start terminating outlet jacks. And long about Wednesday, I get done. So I go to the closet and I start punching in wires into the patch panel. Well, if I terminate all the outlets 568B, and I go in the closet and I accidentally start terminating my, oh, excuse me. If I start terminating my cable runs with a 568A, I have created crossovers or crossed pairs because I have done just this. I have caused, caused the orange and the green pairs to be flip flop. So it's very easy to do this where, you know, I do one end 568A and the other end 568B. It's very easy to do. So I just need to find the end that's causing that. Um, and then re-terminate. Uh, a few of you encountered this in the lab when you terminated your outlets and your patch panels, and I told you go check the patch panel first because that's the easy one to see. Look for the problem there. The outlet jack's a little harder to tell because it's kind of already terminated. You can't see all the wires. So I gotta find the faulty end and re-terminate. That's all I really need to do to fix the cross pair. The reverse pair involves just one wire pair. So the one wire pair is just that one wire pair is flip-flop. So the white, orange, and orange wires were swapped as I was terminating. Or the white, brown, or brown wires are swapped when you're terminating. So again, um, as, I, as I hook up my wire mapping meter, here's my straight-through wire map, my normal wire map. My reverse pair would just involve, in this case, the green pair. Only one pair is getting flip-flopped. So I hook up my continuity meter, and I start testing. I get a fail, so I go through the fault check and find out 7, 8 is crossed. The brown pair is flip-flopped when I hooked it up. And here is the example of your set. As I terminate, the, the brown pair has flip-flopped as I go to terminate into an outlet jack or something like that. Um, this is easy to do in a patch cable, really easy to do in a patch cable. So that's your reverse pair. Again, locate the faulty end re-terminate the faulty end. Um, and again, I've done this usually on, us, this usually occurs on like patch cables. That little, you know, brown pair on the end flip-flops on you as you go to slide it into the connector. The last one on this wire map area um, of, of wrong pinouts is the split pair. This is the toughest one to get your head wrapped around because this is really a performance issue. Uh, it creates a performance problem. The split pair is when literally two wire pairs are being split apart. So they're no longer providing the twisting or the cancellation. While this can easily be done by having the blue and the green wires pinned out in the wrong order. 
Well, let's give you an example, and then we can come back and uh, mention or explain the performance issue problem. Here's normal straight through 568B wiring. White, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. That would be the pinout you have in a patch cable, if you will. Well, the temptation is always when you go to, actually, before, before I go any further, and also remember with this pinout, the white, orange, orange here, pin one and two, is a wire pair. Those two wires are twisted together for cancellation. Pin three and six is a wire pair. Those two wires are twisted together for cancellation. Pin 4 and 5 is a pair. They're twisted together for cancellation. And pin 7 and 8 are twisted together for cancellation. Okay? So that is how it normally is wired. That's how it should be wired. That is our color code. And we said a long time ago, it seems odd to go white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. We The temptation would be to go uh, white color, white color, white color, white color, and keep it in a pattern. Well, if I do that, if I do that, just that what I'm talking about, white, orange, orange, white, green, green, white, brown, white, blue, blue, white, brown, brown. If I do that and I'm, I'm tempted to do that, I now have a problem. Pin one and two is still my orange pair. They're twisted together. They're canceling. Pin three and six is supposed to be a pair, and they're no longer a pair when I wire it this way. The white, green, and the blue as far as the cable is concerned, should be a pair and twisted together and canceling. Well, when I, when I wire it like this, they're not twisted together and canceling each other. So if I accidentally go back to my normal, this is what we should be doing up here. White, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. Again, those are designed to be pair canceling, pair canceling, blue pair canceling, brown pair canceling. If I don't do that, and I do this temptation of white, orange, orange, white, green, green, white, blue, blue, white, brown, brown, I now have pin four and five are supposed to be twisted together, and they're not. So I now have a cable where this whole cable length is essentially untwisted. They're supposed to be paired together, canceling each other, and they're not, uh, because I flip-flopped the wires around. And that creates, as we go back here, a performance issue because I now have a cable with, you know, 10, 15, 100 feet of cable that's not twisted and canceling each other. So, when I go to test this guy, what's going to happen? Again, here's a wire map of our normal wire map. Here's a wire map of our split pair. When I go to test this, these little guys normally don't pick them up, but sometimes they can. Sometimes they're like, you know, I don't think this is right. I don't think this is doing what it's supposed to be doing but don't rely on them too much they're not that very accurate on that this wire mapping meter is trying to give us a suspect saying i don't think this is right something doesn't seem right when i test this it's not until we really put on a oops i forgot to put my performance meter on when we put the performance meter on it actually tests that and it'll tell you hey three six and four or five has a split pair go check these out um and it's because the, the performance meter is testing for crosstalk across that the whole length of cable, and it's coming up with, hey, you got lots of crosstalk because you have split these pairs apart, and you're allowing crosstalk to occur in here. They're no longer canceling each other. So with a split pair, what I actually have to do is find out what, what got terminated incorrectly, and since it's occurred at both ends, I'm going to have to re-terminate both ends of my cable run. I actually have to re-terminate both ends of the cable run to get rid of that split pair. So if I do come up with a uh, cable run that is showing, hey, split pair detected, you need to mark that cable run and re-terminate both ends of that cable run. Okay, That's a, that's a pretty, uh, pretty significant one. Alrighty. We'll come back in the next one talking um, performance issues, coming back and talking performance issues.